Hello there YouTube, I'm glad I got this done as windy as it is. Update on my antennas. The antenna had a mount on the bottom to where it's hard to see from here. It had a mount on the bottom where it came out horizontal. Do you see where it kind of looks like a circle? It's kind of like an S shape. It'll go side to side then top to bottom. It's kind of hard to see it. I should have filmed that before. But then it's wrapped around that piece of conduit. That's half inch conduit. It adds some little clamps off an old beam antenna that goes around your pipe. Then you use your muffler clamp. And I'll show an antenna similar how I made it. Okay. The other antenna was about four foot. All I did was I took an old TV antenna apart. I have a video where I turned it around. I had a big load coil. And I was experimenting on AM. This is for FM. I just wrapped up to about two inches, made a coil, and then I just kept spreading the wire out further and further. It got to the top. Now the one that's up there now, I made about a one inch coil at the top and wrapped it. Just about one inch. It's all experimenting. There's no formula, no nothing. I wanted a little load coil at the bottom, and I put more spacing on the other one. The other one has spacing about an inch apart. I didn't have it so tight down here. It's just an old TV antenna. I cut carefully cut the vinyl off so I didn't nick that wire. That transformer wire has got like a red lacquer. You don't want to nick that because then it was short against itself. It's not insulated anymore. This one's a little taller. It doesn't matter how I did the did the mount part. That was just easy to kind of make an S shape on it. It's, it was a mount where you put the coax in a little plastic housing and then you screwed the antenna parts together. Uh, all of an old trucker mirror mount. Because that's what they are, CB antennas. So I wrapped it around that, about a dozen times around that four foot piece of conduit going horizontal. I wanted to try to isolate the coax from the antenna. And that's only about. 19 feet up to the bottom. Antenna is four, so it's not quite 20 to the tip. I'm glad it wasn't as windy when I lowered that down. All I had to do is just lower my pipe down to the middle there. Just experimenting. You know, I have nothing to lose if you get it for free. A lot of these antennas, people throw them away. They come on solder down here at the bottom. like a little two inch load and I space an inch. I'd recommend spacing an inch and just wrap it in a spiral. Doesn't matter what direction you go. But then at the top, put your little coil about an inch. They made things that went on top of an antenna that held the signal in. It, it, that's what I, why I kind of mimicked. Put about a little one inch wrap at the top. It's all experimental. You may come up with something better than what I ever came up with. But enough of that. It works good. I pulled in a station from Lincoln, Nebraska. If you look on the map, I live between Omaha and Sioux City. And I, it is daytime. That was pretty amazing. But it's hard for me to get Omaha stations 70 miles away. And there's one out in Columbus, Nebraska. I'm getting a station right now out of Columbus, Nebraska. And it is very hard to get. FM does not travel a long ways. There is conditions that you get, like skip conditions. But... I'm amazed I'm getting that station. That's the one I've been tuning to. If you tune these antennas and play around, pick a station down towards 88. Because you're going to need a longer antenna down there. So you don't want to tune to the top of the FM band and then be too short at the bottom. Always tune at the bottom. So you're not, you know you're not making it too short. But just a simple experiment. Just wrap to it. And you, I totally unwrap this. You can take the wire all the way off these CB antennas. Just be careful and rewrap it the way you want it. But enough of that, and I've got it all taped. I had this one in the mount earlier and I took it out. I taped everything up to keep the moisture out. I know if you do get moisture, it probably won't dry out, but I taped it the best I could and sealed it. But thanks for watching.